A SWAT team surrounded an apartment building in Logan Heights today, searching for a man wanted for a number of crimes. He was caught, but he wasn't alone. Our Jason Sloss live for us at police headquarters with how it all played out today. Jason. Andrew, that standoff lasted more than three hours. Police were looking for one guy, end up making two arrests, and we end up hearing from one of the women who were staying in an apartment with those men. Sky Fox above a SWAT standoff in Logan Heights that started around 9 a.m. Police surrounding an apartment building along Ocean View Boulevard looking for a man considered armed and dangerous. With snipers on top of a nearby roof, he eventually surrendered along with another suspect. They were with two young women in an apartment. One of those women who wished to remain anonymous talked with us about what unfolded. We were inside sitting down and um, all of a sudden we hear a helicopter above the house and then the SWAT team in the alley was pointing their guns towards the window. So then we stayed inside the house because we were scared to leave. Police detained the two women who were the first to come out of the apartment. So then we waited for the intercom and the, the intercom told us to leave the house with our hands up. And once we got those directions, we went outside. The other woman says she was dating the suspect, 31-year-old Jonathan Gutierrez, who was taken into custody about 15 minutes later. He was wanted for assault with a deadly weapon on an officer last week. Then Thursday, getting into a police chase, going the wrong way on the 805 in the South Bay. He did allegedly rammed a police vehicle during that pursuit. That's what one of the warrants was for. Police later arrested another man, 28-year-old John Mena, who was found hiding in a car. Both have warrants, felony warrants unrelated to one another. And police did not give details about the warrant for the second man arrested or what else they found in the apartment. Those two women do not face charges. Also, police say it was not linked to the shooting in that same neighborhood just last night. Live at police headquarters, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you very much.